Hey guys, welcome back to Pillbox Movies. I'm Hank, and today we're going to be watching the 1979 Canadian horror film, The Brood. This is a David Cronenberg film. David Cronenberg, known master of, of the Cronenbergs. He does a lot of body horror films, films about the intersection between humankind and technology, as well as, in my perception, the the radicalization of depersonalized individuals into into cults. He's known for such films as Dead Ringers, Videodrome. Is he known for something famous recently? A uh, history of violence and what as might be featured already on this channel, Crash. The Brood apparently is a movie that he wrote he conceived of over the course of a bitter divorce, so we've got a possession thing going on, and stars Art Hindle, Samantha Egger, and Oliver Reed. Samantha Egger has already been previously featured on this channel in the William Wyler film, The Collector. I don't know if Oliver Reed has made it onto this channel yet, but if he hasn't, he will be. <laughs> Spoilers, hint, hint, hint. I am always surprised with how much I resonate with Cronenberg. His movies offer kind of like technical wizardry and allure for me as a younger person. And as I grow older, I kind of resonate more with themes of obsession the more I watch his movies. So yeah, I'm interested to see what direction The Brood takes. So let's do that. And before we begin, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe for more old, obscure, and art house films. Let me know in the comments down below, who is your favorite Canadian performer? I love Elliot Page, obviously. <laughs> Taylor Kitsch. Uh, I really like Caroline uh, Caroline Davernis from... I wonder what... Wonderfalls. That's what she's from. The Brew. Score by longtime co collaborator Howard Shore. Howard Shore, known obviously for The Lord of the Rings, but... He got his start in, I believe, Canadian film, in like the Toronto film scene. I listened to a commentary for, I think, Dead Ringers, in which David Cronenberg posited that he likes to do uh, a title sequence for his movies instead of getting you like right in there with the plot because he wants to like set a certain mood. You're not looking at me, Mike. You're not looking at I me probably already said that for the crash video. I don't need to say that again. That's weak. It probably would have been better for you had you been born a girl. Then we could have named you Michelle. I don't think of necessarily this is more acceptable in a girl, Michelle. Cronenberg as uh oh, I'm sorry, I mean Mike. A study of like trans narratives or transgender ideas in his film. Wait a minute. You know. Why did I call you Michelle all the time? I I I am not the uh, I wouldn't have to be so goddamn fucking ashamed of you and your weaknesses. An authority to say that a girl all the time. But I buy your he is interested in the transfiguration of the body. Scarves, Such a soft little girl's voice. This is how I imagine the Toronto theater scene is like. Hit you, Daddy. Hit you. Speak up, girls! Hit you! Show me your anger, show me, then I can understand it. <laughs> <laughs> There you are, Daddy. When did he get those lesions on his face? How did that happen? I see you, Michelle. I see everything. I've seen everything. Dr. Raglan would like to thank you all for coming this afternoon. I believe your bus is with On Raglan Road, on an autumn day, I saw her first and knew. Me, honey. Oh, Daddy. Soma Free Institute of Psychoplasmics. Soma Free meaning sleepless. Mr. Bubble. Okay, put the whale down, honey. Turn around. That's no good. That's definitely no good. Oh my God. I want to see Nola. I want to see my wife now. Well, my daughter's been beaten severely, and her mother did it. Her mother, who's under your psychiatric care. That's an incredibly heavy accusation to make, Frank. She pretends the whole thing never happened. 
but it wasn't Ola or some other crazy you have stashed away. I don't know if Art is doing this intentionally, money. but the there there is me. that kind of Michael Keaton, Jack Nicholson dynamic where or stage. Dustin Hoffman, Lawrence Olivier it's dynamic in Marathon end. Man where the younger actor tries to like back. peacock up against yeah, the older one, or against the veteran. Has been in over see how they stack up. Time now. Happy to oblige. It never goes well. For the ultimate good of your own family, right? If you're going to go up against the slab of human meat that is Oliver Reed, you, you can't just bring a deli slice of our handle. <laughs> Those sandals. I know this guy Raglan is strictly an emotional opportunity. The names of MD, David Cronenberg right? characters. He's a real psychiatrist. <laughs> they always just like pop. Not not always in good yes. ways, but. I give Nola enough time, she'll really hurt the kid. I know she will, Al. Oh, you should, Daddy. The repeated oh, use of this phrase. Is it, is it, the last open house? Yeah. I was busy okay. brushing my hair. Nola and I both know how much she needs her grandma, especially now. I guess you don't know what it feels like. What it feels like? Being a parent, being blamed for everything. To have the past distorted so you don't even recognize yourself in it. <laughs> Excuse me? Mom, Julia, the heck are you talking about? Five. 30 seconds after you're born, you have a past. And 60 seconds after that, you start to lie to yourself about it. Juliana. I'm under the impression that David Cronenberg has known some intense I've been indulging in a horrid bout of nostalgia maternal figures in his life. I'll be with you in a second, sweetie. I'm just going to get a refill and then we look at those lovely old pictures. Ma, Ma, put down the glass, Ma. Okay. Okay. While I'm there, I think I'll freshen up both our drinks. No, please don't. Okay. This is taking a very different direction than what I imagined. Okay. Is this a Simpsons reference, by the way? I feel like the Simpsons reference this with, like, Maggie. The fu- Is this, like, a manifestation of- of, Ca of of Candy's like inner interior psycho spiritual landscape. Is this an alt? Is this a Patronus? Yo, call oh my fucking god! What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Speaking bluntly, I don't think that your daughter escaped this incident entirely unscathed. Yeah, I would doubt that. The officer who found her said that she was very difficult to wake up. Soma free, by the way. Frank hates me, Dad. He despises me. And that's very unfair of him. That's very arrogant of him. You mustn't be too hot Whether or not you him. like it, uh, He's just trying to I have to say, to I applaud Samantha Ecker for really bringing it. Oh, no. This kind of hysterical performance. He's just doing what a good father should do. Is the sort of thing that I really resonate her. with in uh, in terms of that. actors. He doesn't want to see her. He doesn't want to see her. It's very own vulnerable. Her own mother. And it's the the kind of like electric jolt you need sometimes in a Cronenberg film, which can be very prescriptive and uh, can have a cast of very kind of emotionally repressed and deflective characters. Frank's protecting Candy the same way as I protected you, isn't he? No, you didn't protect me. You didn't. This is like the third movie in a row I'm watching. You shouldn't have looked Focusing away when on me. mental disorders and emotional trauma, specifically childhood you trauma. You walked away from the table when she twisted my words. You should have stopped. You should have hit her when she hit me, and you should have slapped her when she slapped. Oh God, I love you. Oh my fucking God. I'm like worried what directions this movie could take. Cause Cronenberg, not that he's a pervert or anything, but he has a mind that 
at times can be uninhibited in ways that I have difficulty conceptualizing. Ah, Frank, when I think about you and Nola and this sweet child having to go through the same heartaches we went through, it's it's enough to make you cry. So is this Nola's father or is it it Frank's? Juliana was Nola's mother. This man has a relationship with Juliana, so I guess the implication is that he is Juliana's father the one who uh, refused to acknowledge the abuse. In which case, Frank has made a very considered effort to ingratiate himself with his in-laws. Is your lawyer preparing a case against the ragging tooth? I'm claiming psychological damage, uh, not physiological. Oh, I see. Well, uh, give him some more time with your wife. Let this look impressive in court. Oh my god! Oh my fucking god, what the hell is that? That's psychoplasmics. Franklin, encourage my body to, to, to revolt against me. Now, I, I have a small revolution on my hands, and I'm not putting it down very successfully. Then your lawyer really thinks he can prove Raglan's responsible. Are you kidding me? You can't. Yeah, and in terms of uh, the the body horror aspect of of Cronenberg, the transfiguration aspect, the but also the radicalized aspect, this idea of the body uh, in revolt against itself, that systems are uh, breaking down and and battling against its own and other systems. Even if we lose, people get nervous about psychoplasmics. It will. Be bad publicity. They'll just remember the slogan. Psychoplasmic. I hate seeing that cancer. just peeking up cancer. over the over the towel. I hate that. How does Cronenberg know just like what'll be like the worst always? Maybe. I I I wanna help you. Okay. I love the air of conspiracy Thanks. in uh, Cronenberg films. It always feels like there's like a rational world and just outside of the field of view, just outside your periphery, is this cosmic world of chaos and uncertainty and you know that coursing, you know that streaming, yeah. undulating yeah. mass to me. waiting to seep in. Her, if I don't hear from my daughter by tomorrow afternoon, I'm coming back up here to get her. As soon as Candy realized she had me alone, Lady, your hair. She to play mother and daughter with her. She obviously needs mothering and isn't getting it. Yeah. Speaking of which, you know, sometimes it just kills me to think. You think maybe I could put another already. baby inside of you? You got involved with a woman who married you for your sanity, hoping it would rub off. It's a cruel line. That it started to work. It's a way. cruel, cruel line. I can see the emotional through line from this and in Chevalsky's possession. Apparently divorce does fucked up things to a person's Hello. head. So I'm going back up there at the Soma Free. We'll leave just as soon as you get here, Frank. Well I'm doing it, Frank. With or without you. Death flag. I'm only about fifteen minutes away. Wait for me, Barton. I'll be there. Fifteen You're minutes good lad, is a good Frank. death flag. Clock striking is a good death flag. I have a feeling I've just been recruited to babysit. 45 minutes? That's all it'll take. Totes. Totally done. Dude, what are you doing? Dude, what are you doing? Oh, I see. Oh, this was the house that he went back to? What the heck? Also, this couple, they're drinking, gosh. Dude, why did you go back to this house? That's unbelievable. What kind of, like, seriously fucked up are you? Oh, Julie. <laughs> I should have protected you. I should have been the one to fill your dark soul with light. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Whatever the heck this friggin' thing is. I, I, I don't even know what to say. What is going on? Nola's alt man going crazy. I don't know if it's Nola's. I think it's Candy's. I think Candy's been traumatized by the divorce. 
He's still alive. Oh. Oh god, what is that thing? I hate this little goblin thing. I hate it. Way for Cronenberg to find something that's like deeply, deeply unscary and make it deeply, deeply scary. It's just a friggin' kid in a parka. What could be scary about that? It's just a, a friggin' Canadian. Ah, I hate that thing. I hate that thing. I I just don't understand. I just hate it. I just hate it. What? Yeah. It's a don't look now. It's such a don't look now. Just don't look now. My guess is some crazy woman didn't want anyone to know she had a deformed child. No, that She's happens. This kid locked up in an attic for years and never told anybody. Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> okay. Ruth Mayer from Krell Street School. Yes. Ruth. Gordon, Mrs. Carver? Mayor, my husband listen. Your own private PTA meeting. You bitch! You're killing my family! They have irises, but no retinas. I should think his vision of the world is very distorted. And I'm pretty certain he sees things only in black and white. No colors. But you get a pretty nasty bite from these strange beak-like gum. What the heck is happening? The thing has no belly button. That's right. And that means this creature has never really been born. At least not the way human beings are born. Jesus. So this is like... So... This is like... This is like taking the concept of marriage, if we want to get incredibly cis about it, in, in, in a kind of symbolic way, in a kind of utilitarian way. The concept of marriage, it's like... It's zenith. It's 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 reason for existence is to procreate, and so the perfect manifestation of a happy marriage is a child. Uh, let's say that's signified by candy, and so the inverse of that, uh, the manifestation of a broken or tormented or dissolved marriage, of a divorce, of the kind of fighting and and trauma and abuse and neglect that can manifest in two people. That, in some way, is this, this creature, this, the, this brood, which seems to be like a conduit for all the bad aspects of a relationship of marriage. Uh, it's a, it's a pretty dark take, I have to say. You know, Zhivalsky is the gold standard, but I have to say that Cronenberg manages to get real, real honest with the kind of, the primal fears or primal feelings he has about marriage, about coupling in this movie. It's it's a very, very dark expression of the capacity of human beings for waste and for destruction and for um, the things that negate life's beauty. The, the, the brood friggin' sucks. It was lousy from the very start. You never had anything real together. It would be better for everybody if you... But if Frank divorced you and married me. We had a lot. We had beautiful things. Things that you couldn't understand. If you'd just leave him alone. If you'd just leave him alone. Leave him alone! Samantha Egger in The Brood versus Susanna York in <laughs> Freud, The Secret Passion. <laughs> you choose. <laughs> I know what happened at Grandma's. I know what you saw there. And Candy, it's dead. It can't hurt you now. It's also like this and primal fear me. of seeing like your else. child transformed into this terrifying, evil creature. Yes. It's like a, such a warping of everything that you care about and love. It's part of, like, why I think it's frightening in Don't Look Now as well. It's right now, because it's such a, it's right. like, a perversion of the thing that you love. You be my daddy. Oh, my God. You won't do it anymore. Look. You can kind of see the how myself. the protagonists okay. in uh, Cronenberg you films can. become radicalized you, and you become know. extremists because oh, under me. their straight lacedness is no. this kind of silly, right? uh, pathology right. coursing underneath. You're not into it, so why do it, right? Besides, 
Nobody can do it like Dr. Raglan. Yeah, see that kind of radicalization. Real daddy. Dr. Raglan knows I'm addicted to him, and he doesn't care. Dr. Raglan wants to be alone with your wife. Sure, it goes in hard on the strings. So is, I'm just guessing, is Nola producing these, like, these distorted offspring? Because the other patients are manifesting physiological traits as well in, like, more comparatively muted ways with the sarcoma in the case of, uh, of Jan and the boils with Matt. How many kids are in this class? One of them's in there. I hate this. Oh god, oh god, I hate it. Oh, I hate it. Oh. This is why we need guns in our schools in case this happens. Armed guards everywhere. Post them at every locate at every exit. In every school in Toronto. Okay, so they locked up Candy to protect her. Because they're going to beat this woman to death. Oh, seeing this happen in a classroom is just fucking brutal. It's just so disgusting. David, I'm so mad. Oh my god, that's just brutal. That's just too much. That's too much. David, David, David. David, you need to you need to have a limit sometimes. David, with the pumpkin seeds and everything, David. You've been dreaming. Yes, I was having a wonderful dream. I see. It's wonderful. manifested out of their dreams. Because sleep is the cause of the death. Focus of just psychotherapy. Back to me. I think I must be getting stronger because somehow I just don't feel threatened by her anymore. Lady, you're killing me. Lady, I'm freaked out right now. Ugh, ugh. Disgusting. Genuinely horrid. Please, I just don't want another one of those things to show up. Please, please, please. This is just a weird sticking point for me. I don't know why. Maybe it's just, you know, I, I, I feel bad for saying this, but um, anatomical divergence. <laughs> you gotta help me. Carbeth, what the hell are you talking about? Art, I, I kind of feel like I need you to up the intensity just a they little. I feel like the Ruth stakes Mayor, are pretty high right now, and, back and here. I could use your contribution as an actor to this scenario. Because David's doing the work, Howard's doing the work, Oliver, Samantha, they're all doing the work. Killed Ruth Mayer. Raglan, I want my daughter back. You know what this movie could now, really use? Bring her back here. Sam Neill. <laughs> back to Nola? Uh... I think that would be a different vibe, but I would like to see the crazy versus crazy version of this. You've got Nola taking care of them. I'm sure she just loves being their surrogate mother. She is their mother. She's not their surrogate mother, right? I love how low Oliver Reed brings these things. She's their real mother. More exactly, they're the children of her rage. They're motivated only by her anger, whether that anger is conscious or subconscious. But when she released her rage against her parents under therapy, and they killed him. So maybe don't therapize her. What do you want me to do? Have sex with your wife. I want you to go back into that hut and persuade for Nola making to want back. I want your family. Disgusting. I want you to play the role of apologetic lover and husband. If she's mellow, then I can just walk into that attic, pick up candy, tuck her under my arm. And walk. I really hope that Oliver Reed gets like torn apart that? in this movie. That'd be fun. I'd, I'd watch that. Raglan, I don't trust you. Yes, okay. My name is Art Hindle. I am feeling the feelings. Fred, be nice to her. Yes, you betcha I will. <laughs> this is such a, like, uh, explosive scenario. Just like, you gotta be nice to your ex-wife. 
can't make any promises. I thought you said you weren't going to come and see me while I was here. Well, I think that was a misunderstanding. I can't even imagine what their sex life would look like. That's why I'm here. I want us to understand Just each hours other. giving each other perms. The only woman in the world for me. You always have been, you always will be. I wish it were true. God, I wish it were true. Yeah, if only you were a better actor. <laughs> Show me, educate me, involve me. I'm ready now. I wasn't before, but I'm ready now. This is a vicious portrayal of a of a woman as a partner. But also like in that oh my god. Oh my god. Candy. Uh but also in that portrayal, a kind of allure, Are it you must really be said. Me, Are you really? Just being captivated by the crazy. I'm a special person. I'm in the middle of a strange adventure. I like I don't live in this world at all. But I'm movies like Possession, you. like this. I wanna go with you wherever. Like you Maitress. Do you? You absolutely understand you? the being entranced yes. by the crazy. And look! That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot. Daddy? Oh, I hate that. That's it, huh? It's Dr. Hal. Okay, good. Daddy's downstairs talking to mommy. Don't let her call you daddy, please. Just eating that placenta. Damn, bitch, you live like this? <laughs> I can definitely tell why audiences in 1979 might have been displeased with this movie. <laughs> yeah, I get that. It's weirdly kind of ouroboros -y. It's a way to describe your ex-wife as conceited. When she tries to eat her own stillborn, God, no. breed it, offspring. No, I disgust you. You hate me, girl. You gotta learn to control you your impulses. I'm willing to compromise with you. You just gotta stop eating your own stillborn babies. Yeah, that girl's gonna do therapy! Yo, dudes be anxious about being a parent. I'd kill Candace. No. No, 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 no. Do you hear me? No. I'd kill Candace before I'd let you take her! No. No. Medea, please. Medea, please. Lamour. In the end, she died like she did in the collector. As a total bitch. I, I really enjoy Samantha Egger's performances. In these two movies, I have to say, uh, quite amazingly, I, I don't think I've ever seen an actress that I've wanted to die so much in two very different ways. I so very much wanted her to die in The Collector for being so, so foolish, and wanted her to die in this 
because, um, well, she wanted to murder her daughter. Yeah, the look on a child's face when witnessing their their parents' divorce when when they're sitting in the in the courtroom having to decide which parent they want to go with, go with. Going home, Ken. Do not turn into one at the end. I'll be so pissed. Ah, uh, no. Because that trauma is just going to build. Trauma is the true virus. I... Sometimes I can't exist in the same world as David Cronenberg. I just... I did a tally of some of my favorite films that I've watched for this channel, and I noticed a recurring theme among some of the top ones that I really resonate with films that have a, uh, a kind of apocalyptic outlook in them. And you know who tops the list on apocalypses? Mr. Cronenberg, Mr. Cronenberg. <laughs> yeah, this is funny. I'm reading this little caption saying that Cronenberg watched Kramer vs. Kramer over the course of his divorce and he was like, nah, not good enough. Jeez Louise. Yeah, I can, I, I totally understand why an audience in 1979, an audience in any era, might not have totally loved this movie. I don't even know if I liked it. In, in a, like, somebody coming in blind, out of the rain, out of the, uh, into a movie theater and watching this, I don't know how I would ever understand what was happening in this movie. Having years of experience with David Cronenberg barely helps me contextualize this. It's so gargantuan in this monstrosity. It's so bleak. <laughs> in terms of the deep pathological core of it, the inspiration of sheer terror this film instills in you, fear of the world, fear of yourself. This movie's goddamn awful. Like, my heart is in the pit of my stomach right now. Cronenberg's like... Like a modern Euripides for me. He's just so... He's fucking crazy. I... Yeah. I, I deeply, deeply felt this, even if I... Kinda hated it. Custody battles, man. Do your best to avoid them. I'm like so grateful. I'm so, so grateful. Doing... Doing this channel, watching these movies, just like the the degree of like that my mind and my like my horizons have been broadened and th my appreciation of these directors has deepened over the course of this incredible 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 the, the degree of respect and admiration i've grown in for for cronenberg i already deeply deeply admired him and it's just gotten so much Worse, the movies that I've seen of his on this channel, I'm just like infected. My brain is infected with Cronenberg. I can't get him out of my head. He's entrenched himself in in me and my thought processes. What a singular director! Just a whole scope, a whole world apart from what we're used to. I don't know if I can recommend that you watch watch Cronenberg movies because I don't want you to get infected. But yeah, that's, that's fucking Cronenberg. That's the brood, man. I'm fucking, I'm, 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 I'm full of dread. <laughs> Click the like button and subscribe for more old obscure and art house films. We need to get off this ledge. I feel manic when I watch Cronenberg films at this point. I need, I need something a little bit more tempered. Ugh. Until next time, keep watching good movies. Okay, well, at least... Apparently she was just licking the baby. As, like, you know, after birth care. So she wasn't eating it.